Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa, where we are currently in this war with Korea. We're also in this war against Portugal. We're ignoring this war. We don't care about that. My main question here though is, I kind of made it a goal here at the end of this series to uh, get Korea fully annexed. Now, if we work to do that, there's a bit of a problem. And that problem is as follows. I've already looked at this. We could get this and then the rest of this in the next war. That is a possibility. But if we do this, Ming will be at 135 aggressive expansion against us. The question is, is that a problem? Would they break tributary over that? Now, Ming is currently at 54 aggressive expansion against us. The threshold for joining the coalition is usually 50. I'm going to assume that they're not going to. If they do, maybe we go out in a blaze of glory at the end of this series. I mean, we're right at the end anyway, so that might actually be okay. For now, we're going to improve relations with Ming, because we definitely need to do that. And we're going to head down over here and finish up these sieges. I also moved these guys off camera just so that they weren't all stacked together. So that'll be fine, in theory. Some of our administrators have fled the country. They were leaking information to Korea. Okay. Well, that's fine. Our mercenaries reset. Sounds good. More infiltrators from Portugal this time. They're out of here. We are done rooting out corruption. So that's good to know. It also bears noting that this will establish, or this peace deal here, would establish a truce until October 1819. The game ends in 1821. In order to finish up this war, we might have to go a little bit beyond the end date. That's okay. I'm comfortable with doing that. Just to finish up that last war would be the idea. Assuming Ming doesn't destroy us between now and then. We'll see if they do. But for now, this siege has finished. We need to wait for this siege to end. And it will eventually. Now these guys, they are... Oh, uh, they took this over. Right. We're going to just retreat there. We're not trying to contest them navally. We're going to head back over here. We did lose a lot of navy ships in this war, but that's okay. Okay, so we won that siege. We're 81% war score. We're going to walk in here and eliminate these armies. We're going to bring in additional reinforcements. And Zhenzhou Separatists, we will send this force up to deal with that. Ming might be willing to do that for us, but for the time being, let's just do this. Okay, so Korea loses that, and then retreats directly to here. Interesting. And then we stack wipe them. Beautiful. So we occupy this, and we are at 86% war score. The question now becomes, can we get more? That's... Actually, Ming is going to handle this. We can see that Ming is headed in along with Nanai. So we're going to let them deal with that. We don't want to deal with it ourselves. We do have ticking on our side at this point. The longer that this goes, the longer our truce is. So the question is, would they actually... Oh, they would accept this right now. Okay. So we can't get any more territory. All we can do here is this. The only people who would be upset would be Korea and Ming. The question is, how, like, would Ming be willing to break a tributary over it? I kind of doubt it. We'll find out. Okay, so we got all of that. If Ming ends up attacking us, problems will ensue. There's no doubt about that one. But we're going to move up over this way for now. We no longer need this fort. We can get rid of it. This fort is unnecessary. This fort is unnecessary. This fort. Unnecessary. We'll keep these two. They are convenient for keeping Korea bottlenecked there. So that's fine. And of course, we're going to have to core all of this. That will be rather expensive. We're going to sort by overextension. 30% overextension just from that. Okay. We're going to get some of those going. We're definitely going to have rebellions. Korea no longer considers us a rival. And Ming is currently at minus 30. They are outraged. Okay. I was hoping that they wouldn't be, but we'll see. Okay. In Kalima? Sure. We'll see what they end up actually doing there. I would expect... Okay, Ming wants ducats. 
That's fine. We're absolutely going to give them ducats. We're going to head up this way. I would expect that Ming is not going to go deal with that for us. That's a long ways away. So we're going to head up there. And we're going to have a lot of rebellions. We know that that's going to be the case. Okay, I knew Noble Rebels. Yes, that is fine. We're going to be replenishing our manpower. And getting our aggressive expansion under control. Our war exhaustion is currently even. And why is that? Why is it not going down? Oh, it's because we're in this war with Portugal. Of course. <laughs> okay. That war might actually play in our favor for the time being. Ming's opinion of us is coming up. And that aggressive expansion is only plus 1.7 yearly. We're just hoping that Ming is going to be happy with this. Or, you know, not super angry. <laughs> if they are... They haven't joined a coalition yet. Which is a good sign. They flipped over to Outraged. We clearly need to chill. And we will, until the end of this truce. I am not planning to attack Shagatai. I am planning on just staying here. Uh, let's move these heavy frigates. Let's get them protecting trade in the gear in trade node. Okay. Ming wants gold. We send it. Here you go, Ming. Have gold. Don't be mad at us, please. <laughs> please don't be mad. Okay, we can recall our diplomat here. We have Mongol and Oirat Separatists over this way. It looks like Ming might be willing to deal with those for us. If so, we will absolutely allow Ming to do that. And that's a really good sign, actually. Korean Separatists spawned here. We're going to need to reinforce this. Okay. We're not surprised, to be clear. We are massively overextended right now, and we need to work on bringing that down. We're going to core here as well as here. Okay. Monopoly company founded. Trade efficiency for 10 years and 50 dip power or 3,000 ducks. We're going to take the ducks and we are going to immediately repay all of our loans. There we go. Okay. Corchin separatists over here. This is all deeply unsurprising. And we're moving up over this way. Yep. We won the war against Portugal. As expected. We lose the stability. That is unsurprising as well. We're going to move these guys over this way. Ming is fighting this force, and they're heading up to fight this one too. So since Ming is defending us, we are, I think, reasonably okay. Is Ming going to head over here too? They are. Since they are defending us, I think that they're not going to do anything. That is my theory. So far, so good. Lose 50 military power? Okay, but I'm not super happy. Uh, these guys declared war on our private enterprise. We had just helped them. But they're attacking these guys. We're not apparently in this war. That's interesting. Nor can we join this war. And they have a bunch of noble rebels. Okay. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. But we can't really fight these guys. So we're not going to defend our colonial nation. Like, that's not going to be a thing. We're going to head up over here. Ming will not deal with this in time. So we're going to get there a little faster. And we'll deal with that. We will leave these guys, I think, in this area. I would like to... Actually, here is fine. Okay. Okay. More Separatists out over here and over here. That is fully expected. We definitely expect a ton of Separatists right now. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and rival, I think, Shagatai. There we go. And we're going to continue to core these. We need to bring our overextension down. So we dealt with that. I'm not sure if Ming's going to go after this. Yeah, they're not heading that way. So we're going to head up there. Ming is heading this direction, though. So that's good. Ming's opinion of us goes up by 50. Yes, do it. So Ming's opinion of us is now at plus 49. Cool. Rebels successful. Yes, that is expected. 
Ming will handle this. Is Ming heading over here? No, I think Ming doesn't know about these rebels. We're definitely going to... Well, maybe they do. They're heading over here. We're going to hold up here. And more rebels here, which Ming will definitely know about. Yeah, Ming is certainly going in here. So we'll call that good. We'll let Ming defend us. Absolutely. A minor inconvenience. Plus 15 unrest in multiple locations. It's not surprising. Ming wants cash again. We absolutely send it. And Ming is back to overlord status. Perfect. They're no longer outraged. So we've got Hojo Separatists over here. That's fine. We can grab ourselves a military idea for discipline here. And we're a long ways away from Miltech 32, which is, of course, the last Miltech. So I think we go ahead and grab this. And that fills out all three of our military ideas. So all of our military power at this point is earmarked for filling up this tech tree. That'll be done in 1819. So that'll be done certainly in time for the war with Korea. Gain five prestige or 25 military power. I guess we'll take the military power. We don't really need it exactly, but it's okay. Cool. So we're going to continue coring down over here. We need another couple hundred in total. Like, call that 350 to get all of our admin power. Okay. So, they did take over all of this. We never had the opportunity to defend them. We have a CB against them, but we're not going to fight them. It's too close to the end of the game. We just had to give up that colonial nation. They kept us supplied with a lot of cash. So, they did their purpose. It's sad to see them go. But we never had the ability to do anything about it. So, it's all good. Okay, we're going to get this one coring, and now we need 156 plus 115. Sounds good. We can choose another idea group, and what idea group type would this want to be? This would want to be an admin idea group. We'd probably go with administrative, in all honesty. But at this point, that's kind of pointless. Maybe religious? We could go for that. Of course, we're going to need technology eventually. Imperialism CBs? Yep, that's fine. So we're going to have some Otomo Separatists here in a moment. And there they are. Ming should deal with that. And that'd be great. We're very happy that Ming is dealing with all of our rebels for us. We're going to drill this army and this army for the time being. We need another... 13,000 men. We're going to have that done in under 10 months, so that's not bad. We're going to be banking up manpower after that. Ming wants 405 gold. You can have it. There we go. Next up is going to be Butuan Separatists. That's okay. Next month tick, I think we... Yep, we're going to have enough for Ham Hung here. Sounds good. We'll get that going. Our war exhaustion is dropping, which is good. Our overextension, actually, um, 50 dip power or 3,000 ducats. I think for now we're doing okay on ducats. We're going to make a long-term investment. And where is this? Oh, this will be like down over here, right? Yeah, Ming is probably not going to deal with that. We're going to send this force down here. Okay. We're also going to need to replenish our navy here. I think that we should take this up to like 21. Like that. And then let's have, say, in terms of our great frigates here, let's have this be something along the lines of 42. Like that. And then for frigates, I'd like this to be like, I don't know, 84, just doubling. We don't have the cash to get all of that queued up, I don't think. Well, actually, we do. So that's perfect. We can also expand out this naval force, or rather this transport force, and I would like to do that. We'll take that up to 40, so we can transport a full half army. Okay, sounds good. Ming is going to want admin power this year. That's probably better for us. We do have one more core that we need to make here. That said, we're going to be under 100% inflation very soon here, 5 October. So that's amazing. 
Ooh, a free stability. Yes, that's really, really good for us. A free stability is amazing right now. We are incredibly happy to see that. And here comes this force. Okay. So we are good to go in here now. And we'll just leave these guys here to deal with any rebels over here, I feel like. And we'll move this fleet back up over this way. Cool. So we've got ourselves a lot of ships that we are constructing at the moment. That's for sure. And there's a bunch of cores. Beautiful. That does drop our overextension incredibly dramatically, down to 75%. That's 50% drop. So that's great. We lost a general. That was this guy up here. And we could roll up a new one. But I think I'm going to hold off on that for right now. We're just going to move these guys. Actually, we're going to keep them exactly where they are. This will be fine. These guys are drilling, and I'm okay with that. These guys will chill down here. Yeah, this is all good. So we're going to get this cord up. Ming wants admin power. We're going to go negative, but that's okay. And we can convert... Actually, that would take an infinite amount of time. Hilarious. We're not going to do that. We are instead going to convert over here. This is 29.27. That's a lot. Why would it cost that much to convert Pyongyang? I mean, they are fairly developed. Interesting. We should think about maybe accepting Korean as a culture. That's only 1% in our state cores, but that's fine. Shagatai rivaled us. That's unsurprising. The papal state exists now. Cool. And we can grab ourselves a revolution ability. So artillery bonus versus fort is really good. We're going to grab that. Okay. I wouldn't mind getting ourselves a diplomatic advisor here. Trade efficiency would be okay. We're actually making a lot of money right now, so let's go for this guy. We could think about promoting some of these as well. We could promote, like, this guy up to level 3. And I think we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. Land maintenance modifier of minus 10% is very nice for us. We're still making 54.07 per month, so that's great. Madia separatists are going to be very soon here. Ming is going to want ducats. I'm not sure we're going to have the ducats for them. Actually, we will. We will have the ducats. That'll be fine. We're going to have our overextension dropping again here pretty soon. And that's great. Great Britain has proclaimed themselves the naval hegemon. Okay. That's completely okay. We're going to move in over here with these transports. We need another seven, but that's fine. And then as far as these light ships go, I'd like to build up to the force limit. So, kind of like that. That's 212, but that's close enough for now. Okay, sounds good. We can make a state over here, and we definitely will do so. And we'll need to core all of these for 53 admin. Although, it's going to cost a little bit more to get all of them fully cored. Out of curiosity, can we now accept Korean? We can. Okay, do it. Korean is now accepted. Which is going to be a big boon for us over here. Beautiful. That coring will continue. We're up to 22,000 manpower. We can definitely expand our military in this truce period if we wanted to. We probably should for safety's sake. We can have 468 units. Ming wants cash. That will put us negative. So we're going to take a loan here. And I think that taking a loan is better than going and debasing our currency. So that's fine for now. The Ottomans proclaim themselves a hegemon, too. Cool. What are they thinking about us these days over in the Ottoman Empire? They're still hostile to us, but they're not doing anything. Okay, cool. So that's absolutely fine. All we're looking to do now is declare on Korea by the end of the game. And I'm thinking that next episode... Will, pop, will probably be the final episode of this particular series. So we need to start thinking about what we want the next series to be. This is definitely getting close to the end. So yeah, that's definitely something that we'll need to start thinking about. We can continue to convert, and this would take 62 months. You know what? Actually do it. That'll be fine. So this coring is continuing and will be done very soon, in theory. We lose 50 dip power. That's fine. 
Right now, all we're trying to do with our dip power is get to tech 32. We'll let the lottery decide here. 014. Not necessarily ideal here, but it'll be fine. Idea cost minus 5%. That's okay. And Korea at this point is at 112k soldiers. Cool. So we can make this into a state. And we must not have the number. Yeah, okay. We're just lacking the admin power to get these actually fully cored. That's going to be fairly expensive to fully core them, but that's fine. We are looking to get as much admin power as we possibly can. There's another core finishing up, putting us at only 18.4% overextension. And Ming demands admin power. Okay. <laughs> we can make another state here. Okay. These full cores are going to be a little bit expensive, for sure. These will finish up on 2 July and 1 June, respectively. So, no real problem with those cores. We're going to have our overextension dealt with. Nobody declared war on us, so that's absolutely great. We can also go for... Actually, we should try to repay this loan. That is definitely something we should do right now. Oh, these guys still exist. They didn't take everything. Okay, cool. Well, they're not going to get too much done, in all honesty. But that's okay. So those cores have finished up. I do expect to be able to make a state over here. Is this already all states? It is. Okay. So we would need to full core these. And we can definitely get started working on that and bringing that autonomy level down. That will help our naval force limit here. Yeah, up to 234 now. I like it. A, a free base tax. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and uh, seize some land. Bringing us up to 65%. Uh, okay, I didn't click that. Good. We'll let the lottery decide. Cool. 330. And spy network protection. Okay. Sure, it's not great, but we don't care about Spanish Australia. Let's say we have no need of such things. Okay. And I would like to set an agenda here. We're going to go for... Hmm... Base production in Kagirgan of three. That shouldn't be too bad. Done. Okay. And we gained 1,200 ducks for that. Fantastic. We lost two advisors at the same time there. That's a little rough. Missionary strength would be really solid here. We'll go for that. And national manpower modifier... I guess, but we're going to be spending more money since we lost our our uh, military maintenance reduction. And it's still 53.17. That's not bad. Okay. Ming is demanding admin power. Makes me sad, but that's what they're doing. And we're just going to build a bunch of manufactories here. We do need a new rival, and let's go for Russia. Cool. Russia's not doing so well. But we're not interested in really attacking anybody. I just want to get Korea finished up here. We don't need additional aggressive expansion with Ming. That's for sure. <laughs> that is an absolute fact. We're going to continue to core these. And we'll get this religion converted over eventually. Hmm. Our military advisor or clergy loses, loses 10 loyalty. The clergy can lose loyalty. That's fine. Okay. I just want to get Korea taken over. That's all I want. So this truce will last a few more years here. And we do have a rebel uprising brewing here. But we'll see if that actually ends up happening. Innovativeness? Okay, sure. Not a whole lot of cost here to core these, in all honesty. We are working on getting these ships built. And they will be done soon enough. A free stability... And 25 diplomatic power? Yes, please. So we're now at max stability again. That's really, really good. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the way this went. We currently have 17 out of our 21 heavy ships. We should probably consider going up to 24 heavy ships here. I want like 10% of our naval force limit to be in heavy ships. We want to continue to convert. There we go. And if this is at 24, this should now be at 48. 
and this should be at 96. There we go. We're just doubling that. Cool. That'll get us a reasonably powerful naval force. Not, you know, a tremendously powerful one, but reasonable. And with that, it is time to give Ming some more admin power. Okay, there you go, Ming. You can have that. But it's also time to put a cut in here. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And next episode, let's finish this. A very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Spartan News, Rose Valentine, Nick Smarty, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.